Hello everyone and welcome back to Georgia Paper Crafts. Today I am working with uh, one of the images from the Suzy Plantamera uh, pre-printed card packs. This image actually came in the November Simon Says Stamp card kit of the month. I did not use it at that time, um, but I decided I'd go ahead and color it up because I thought it was very um, it would work very well for this time and everything that we're going through. Um, and that is that I'm thankful for my tribe, that your tribe can be anywhere from family to friends to neighbors to uh, anybody else. So I just wanted to give this a quick set of colors. Um, I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers here and some water. Um, a lot of times I do not pull out the color using um, water as in here. Um, usually I use two colors and pull it out and that makes it a little bit more vibrant but I definitely wanted to try to use it with some um, water this time. So that's what I'm doing. Um, uh, again this is printed on uh, Tim Holtz watercolor paper uh, and what else can I tell you about it? I'm using my you can see I've got a couple different uh, brushes. I have a couple of water brushes and I also have a just a paint brush that I'm using and I'm just using uh, the different brushes based on the size that I wanted to use. I've got a little well of water off to the side. This is my waffle matter waffle flower media mat that I'm using and I'm just dipping my brush into the water and then taking it to the paper and pulling the color out. So what I'm going to do is let you go ahead and watch me color this. I'll put on a little bit of music, a little bit of music, and I'll be back with you as soon as I'm finished.
Once I was finished outlining, coloring everything, I went ahead and cut this down using my MFT inside out uh, rectangle frames. And then I'm going to put some double sided adhesive all over the back because it did get just a touch warped. Not bad, but I wanted it to lay pretty flat. So I wanted to put some strong adhesive on the back. So I'm going to use that to adhere it to this pre-made car base that I have off to the side. This is A2 size. And I cut it uh, small enough that I have just a little bit of a border. The color of the car base is a light gray. I believe it is Simon Says Stamp um, Fog cardstock. I'm just going to make some highlights using my white Jelly Roll pen here. of just making some areas on the animals and in the lettering. I'm also going to color in um, the heart there with a glitter pen from Kaiser Craft. I also cut out this um, 
sentiment. This is from the Simon Says Stamp uh, sentiment strips. You know, we hear this on the inside. Pull in some enamel hearts I had from my stash. I believe these might be doodlebug, not sure. And put some green ones, three green ones on the outside. And I decided to put one on the inside also. Let me say that in just a minute. Went ahead and cut, cut covered the heart with some clear Nouveau drops and that's it. The final look at the card and the inside says thank you for always being there for me. Thanks again for stopping by and watching my video. I hope this gave you a little bit of encouragement and can't wait to see you next time. Thanks again.